Hey guys, it's Rachel. I know you can't see me right now and you're staring at a pile of makeup, but today we are going to be going through all of my base products. So today is more of a collection video, but I'm also going to be throwing in some decluttering because there are a couple products I do want to purge from my collection. So if you want to see all the base products that I have and you want to see me declutter some products, just keep on watching. So this is my foundation collection right now. I know it is insane. I have way too many foundations. Foundations is one of my favorite products to apply, so I tend to purchase a lot of them and try them out. Hopefully I can whittle this down a little bit. So starting off with the first thing here, I know I'm going to be getting this away. This is the Tony Moly AC Control BB Cream. I honestly don't ever use this. It's way too light for me. This It Cosmetics CC Cream I do like, so I'm going to be keeping this. Same thing for the Garnier BB Cream. It's not my holy grail, but I'm trying to use this up my project pan so I kind of got to keep it. Estee Lauder Double Wear, I really like this formula but it's not cruelty free so I'm going to be keeping it as well to use up. The Sony Kasha uh, Satin Matte Foundation I'm kind of indifferent towards but this is a very light shade that I use to mix in with some of my other darker foundations. I'm going to be keeping this as well. Really like the Urban Decay All Nighter, has really great coverage so I'm keeping that. I'm keeping a lot. <laughs> the One Heck of a Block and Soap and Glory I also really enjoy so I'm also going to be keeping this. Same thing for my Flower BB Cream. It's more a foundation to be quite honest, but I really love the yellow tone of this one and I like to use it and mix it with other um, foundations and it has pretty good coverage as well. My Clinique Stay Matte, I think I'm going to pass on. It's almost done, honestly. I probably could use it up, but I know my cousin really likes this foundation because she used mine and she really liked it so she bought her own. So I'm just going to give this to her to finish up. It's not cruelty free and I have a lot of foundations I have to go through so I'm just going to give this to her to finish up for me. And then the Insta Ready Super BBs from Physicians Formula. I have light and light medium. I love this. It's my favorite BB cream right now. That's cruelty free so I'm going to be keeping that as well. I just started trying out this NYX Stay Matte but not flat foundations. I don't have an opinion on it so I'm going to be keeping this so I could try it out a little bit more. Uh, this Catrice on that plus shine control makeup. I try to mix other foundations to match me better, but honestly the color is just so off and the formula isn't worth mixing. So I'm gonna be passing this along to someone. Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation is my holy grail and Smashbox is now cruelty free, which makes me super happy. So I'm gonna be keeping this. This Ultra Demi Matte Foundation is actually pretty good. I really enjoy this. So I'm keeping this as well. My Mon Color Stay, um, it's in the Cream Compact. I'm using this in Project Pan and Sneak Peek. I used up quite a bit of it. So gonna be hanging on to this so I can use it up. I just got this. This is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. I haven't really formed an opinion on it yet, so I'm gonna be keeping this. And then the e.l.f. Flawless Foundation is in my project pan, so keeping this as well. And then I really enjoy the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, so I'm gonna be keeping this. So I'm getting rid of these three and I'm keeping all of those. I know it doesn't look like much, but honestly I do rotate through my foundations quite a lot and most of these are half full anyway. So getting rid of three of them so I can focus on the ones I have now will actually make a huge difference. Okay, so this is my primer collection. I don't have quite as many primers as I do foundations. Honestly, I'm probably going to be going to be keeping most of these because they all have a different role and purpose and a lot of them are half full so I should probably just use them up. I know there is one I definitely want to get rid of and that is the e.l.f hydrating face primer. Now I do have oily skin but I do like using a more hydrating primer in the winter time when my face is a little bit drier and so I thought this was going to be similar to the Too Faced Hangover RX. This one just made my face feel super greasy. It's like silicone-y and oily feeling and I did not like it at all. Maybe someone with drier skin would like this. I am going to be passing this along to one of my friends. And honestly, the rest of these primers I do like and enjoy using and rotate on a regular basis. And some of them are half done. So I am going to be keeping them. So I have different categories of primers that I use on my face. So the first one is mattifying ones that I use in my T-zone. That would be these four. I know, I have four of them, but these two are on their way out, so I can justify having these two as well, or that's what I tell myself. So, the first one is the number seven Beautifully Matte Makeup Base, which you can see is almost done, and I'm using it in my project pan. 
Same thing for my Becca Evermatte primer. It's almost done and I use this in my T-zone. It's a great primer. I really like it. And then these two are basically a dupe for the Becca Evermatte. This is the Kiko Matte Base and the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot. If you don't want to fork over the money for the Becca Evermatte, these are a great option. And then I have smoothing primers and these are my smoothing primers. So the first one is the NYX Angel Veil. Mine kind of had a hole punctured at the top so I kind of tape it shut. And then this is the e.l.f. Blemish Control Primer. I also really like this one. It's great for smoothing out your skin. This is my Face Shop Velvet Skin Primer. Uh, this is not cruelty free by the way. And so this one I am going to be using up my project pan. So this is why I'm keeping this one. Otherwise I would have decluttered it. And lastly for smoothing primers I have the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer. I know this is a mattifying primer but this one has more of a silicone -y feel. So this one I do use for more of a smoothing purpose. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX. I basically only use this one in the winter time when my skin is feeling more dry. And then lastly I have my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Radiance. This isn't cruelty free and I like to use this when I want a more luminous glow but my foundations are all very very matte so I tend to use this one. Alright, so this is my concealer collection. Again, I have a lot of concealers, so let's see if we could try to whittle down this collection. So starting off, I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I have a little baby size. I haven't been trying it out that much because the shade that I got is a little bit darker, so hopefully when I get tan in the summertime, I can try this one out, so I'll be keeping this. And then this is the Physicians Formula Insta Ready uh, Full Coverage Concealer. It's a really great drugstore concealer. I'm going to be keeping this as well. This is the Maybelline Pure Concealer Mineral, and this is not cruelty free, and this is, I think, exclusive to Asia, I believe, because I picked it up when I was in the Philippines. I honestly don't use this that often. The coverage is pretty good, but it is a little bit dark. So since it's not cruelty free, I think I'm going to pass this on to my friend. And then this is the Ulta Full Coverage Concealer. Again, this one wasn't my favorite. It was a little bit drying under the eyes and the coverage wasn't amazing. So I think I am going to pass this along to someone else. This is the Wet n Wild Conce Photo Focus Concealer and I really do like this. I'm going to be keeping this. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I really enjoy this concealer and I like to use this under my eyes to brighten it a little bit because the shade is so light. This is my Tarte Shape Tape. I really love this concealer. It's super full coverage and it's my holy grail so I'll be keeping this. This is the Catrice Retouch Light Reflecting Pen. This doesn't have amazing coverage but like no makeup days and I wear this under my eyes. It looks really good even if I'm not wearing foundation. So I'm going to be keeping this as well. This is the Wet n Wild Illuminati Concealer. I really love this concealer, so I am going to be keeping this. It's great under the eyes for brightening. This is the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer. It is not cruelty free, but I do like this in the summertime because it's waterproof and it does actually last in the pool. And lastly, this is my Estee Lauder Double Wear uh, Concealer, which I'm using in my project pan, so I'm going to be keeping this. So these are the concealers that I'm keeping, and then these are the ones I'm going to be giving away. Didn't make a lot of progress, but you know, any progress is good progress. And lastly, for the face products, this is my face powder collection and as you can see I don't have a lot of face powders so I'm not going to be getting rid of anything in this category but I thought I would just go over what that face powders I do have. So first off I have a pressed powder and this is the Sexy Mama by The Bomb plain translucent powder nothing too crazy or interesting. Then I have the Laura Mercier um, Secret Camouflage, what is this called? The Invisible Loose Setting Powder in the translucent shade. This isn't cruelty free and I basically only use this for when I go out at night so this is my going out powder and since I can't purchase it again I thought I'd just keep it and use it up. This is the Bare Minerals Powder Concealer. It's, I use it more as a setting powder for under my eyes and this is the shade Well Rested which I'm using up in my project pan right now. So next up is the Intuit uh, Face Powder. This is from the Philippines so I believe this is a Filipino brand. But I use this powder to touch up since it is a pressed powder with a mirror. This is the Besame Brightening Vanilla Powder in the shade Translucent. So it has a yellow tint to it and I tend to use this under my eyes. And then lastly I have a little baby sample size of the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil which I am planning on using after I go through the Sexy Mama Powder. So these are the products I am going to be giving away to my friends. There are one, two, three, four, five, six products. I know I didn't do 
amazingly on the declutter part of this video, but honestly, I'm a fan of using out my products more than just giving them away. So, any progress in the decluttering category is great for me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!